Welcome guys! As a reaction to my Forex scope videos, where I talked about the scope being misaligned when using the distance indicators on the scope as aiming points, many have asked about searing distance. People generally think that searing the weapon should remove any inconsistencies regarding the aiming points of the scope. This video will test those claims and see if searing distance actually works. Expect to see the following. What is searing distance and how to change it? Testing at 400 meters with the SKS using the Forex and Red Dot. Testing at 400 meters with the AKM and M16A4 using the Forex scope. Searing distance can be changed for many of the weapons in the game. This is by default bound to page up and page down. Searing your weapon to 600 meters would mean that your bullet should hit exactly where you aim at 600 meters of distance without the need for compensation of any kind. Now the searing distance aren't the same for all the weapons as some can sear to longer distances than others, but all assault rifles can be seared to at least 400 meters. Okay, so here's the situation. I am 400 meters away from the tree I'm aiming at and I want to hit right here at the very bottom of the tree. Now I have a searing distance of 100 meters, which means that aiming for the tip of the chevron of the scope should result in the bullet hitting lower than the point I am aiming for, as the bullet should only hit precisely there at 100 meters of distance when searing for 100 meters. The bullet hits below the target as expected. But now comes the interesting part. Can the Forex pass the searing test? I'm now going to change the searing distance from 100 to 400 meters. The goal is still to hit the very bottom of the tree and in theory that is exactly where the bullet should hit if searing distance actually works. The bullet hits the bottom of the tree perfectly, meaning that searing to 400 meters worked exactly as it should. Now let's test the very same thing using the red dot and sear to 400 meters of distance. I fired my bullets aiming at the bottom of the tree, so let's see the result. Does searing work using the red dot scope as well? It works! Searing works perfectly using a no zoom scope too. We also have to test this using the M16A4. The bullet should hit at the very tip of the scope. And even though it's difficult to see, it hit perfectly where it should. And doing the same test with the AKM. Success! Searing worked here too. So in conclusion, I've tested the Forex scope and found that the markings which should normally be possible to use for aiming are only correct when used for rangefinding. And if you don't know how to rangefind using the Forex, make sure you watch my video on how to master the Forex scope like a king. So basically, in order to optimally use the Forex and other scopes, we should use searing if we have time. Searing your weapon on the fly does take time and focus and I will probably just stick to aiming higher. But if you want to land a flawless headshot at far distance, searing is probably the way to go. Now that's all I had for you guys in this video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content and I'll see you guys next time.